Uh, just a quick video on glazing a crucible. Um, the reason you glaze them is so when you're melting your metal, uh, I'm going to be using silver in this one, if it's not glazed, the metal's going to stick to the silica crucible there. Glazing it makes it pour easy. So we've got to heat up our crucible first. I'm just going to get some borax ready. You can use household borax, it's fine. But, uh, I use this stuff. I get it from Amazon, I'll put links in the video description. Okay, I'm just going to be pinching the borax and dropping it onto the crucible. Some people do this different ways. I, I like to start in the middle of the crucible, but you've got to build up a coating all the way around, all along the top edge, and particular attention to where you're pouring it from. Now I'm just going to be using propane. I'm using a finch, a bullfinch torch. It's a brazing torch that just runs off of ordinary propane.
push the glaze around with your torch. Make sure you've got everywhere covered. to cover it up and let it cool down slowly. Right. You should should probably wear the gloves. <laughs> but wear the obviously wear the safety equipment. It's what you're comfortable. I, I'm used to welding and brazing and all of this. But I always make sure my eyes are covered. These are great by the way, they're uh, kind of prescription like readers safety glasses and they're cheap. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I, th I think these things are awesome. I wear them all the time. Right, we'll let that cool down and we'll see what it looks like. If I've missed any spots I'll have to reheat and go over. We'll see what it's like in about 20 minutes or so. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see how it's done. And the reason I keep it in here and let it cool down slowly is so there's less chance of the glaze cracking or bubbling or anything like that. There you go. I think you can see it's got a it's got a really nice shiny glaze on it. Yeah, that's a real nice shiny glaze. So it's now ready ready for use. Just realised my camera <laughs> battery had run out. Not sure if I got all that on camera, but anyway, this is the setup. I've got a 20 pound propane tank and a bullfinch torch. 